No, let's see if I can figure out the right button to get... Oh! Oh, there, there we have it. Oh, I better welcome everybody first. How's it going there, everybody? My name is Martin. I'm from Martin's Shed on the RTE After School Hub. And I'm talking to somebody today. And they're appearing on the After School Hub podcast. It's my friend Steve Lally. How are you doing there, Steve? Hello, Martin, my good friend. How are you? Well, I'm really good. Also, listen, Steve, what are you doing on the After School Hub podcast, huh? Well, I... I'm a storyteller, so I'll be telling lots of stories for Halloween. Oh. So there you go. <laughs> oh, wait a second. No, Halloween stories. So mm -hmm. what are Halloween stories about? Is it all about vampires and stuff like that, is it? Well, funny you mention it. Every Halloween, I change from being Steve Lally, the storyteller, into Count Dracula, oh. the vampire. So I am now inside because I can't go outside because the sunlight will, you know, make me turn to dust. Whoa. So I'm here in my in my crypt, and uh, to, uh, I'll be I'll be telling stories about the fairy folk. Whoa. So there you go. Wait a <laughs> second. Wait a second. We're only just started the interview, and you've already said the f word. Uh, oh, sorry. I should say the other crowd are the good people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they're listen. always listening. Exactly. You never, you never know when they're going to pop up. You know what I mean? They could jump in. Oh, you have to be very careful. Yeah. Also, listen, you tell stories about the fairies. Why would you want to tell stories about the fairies? Well, I'd like to tell stories about the fairies because uh, <laughs> my grandmother was a storyteller. She was a Shanachie from oh. Galway in the west of Ireland. And she told me stories about the Banshee. Have you heard of her? Oh, mm. I've heard about the Banshee. Oh, yeah. You hear the Banshee. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I'm and getting changelings. Oh, yes. And she would scare me with her stories, but I love them. And when I grew up, I said, I want to be a storyteller just like my granny. And that's what I did. So I work as a storyteller all over the place. <laughs> but if you're telling stories about the fairies, Steve, does that mean that you have to keep the fairies happy? Very much so, Martin. It's very important to keep the fairy folk happy. Oh, well, oh, yes. how, how are you going to keep the fairy folk happy? Well, first of all, you have to show them respect. Oh. And by doing that, you, uh, you, you don't refer to them as the, the as you say, the F word. Oh, you yeah. call them the good people mm -hmm. are the gentle folk. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also they love little treats to be left out for them like oh. maybe a bowl of milk or some bread <laughs> and if you don't that's when they play a trick on you and martin that's where the term trick or treat comes from <gasps> it was invented in ireland and it was the fairies that invented it so there you go oh, yeah. oh sorry the good people uh, no no the good people oh my goodness <laughs> no, no, no. Maha. we okay. have to be very careful martin yeah okay and, and so like to keep them happy because they, they, they live, is it true that they live in uh, forts, do they? That's right. They live in fairy forts, which are like round, sort of a ring of grass in a field. Oh. And um, they also live in fairy trees, also known as Cronnashi oaks. Oh. And they live, yes, and they live in fairy mounds. And they have fairy paths that they use as well. And that's why the fairies hate it when people litter or throw paper out uh, of their cars because it ruins the countryside and the countryside is their kingdom. And that's why you have to be really good to nature. Otherwise, the fairies will punish you. So there. Yeah. So you obviously spend a lot of time with the fairies. You know, you're telling stories about them and you're thinking about them all the time. So what, what do you think? Are they scary? Are they playful? Are they happy? Are they really clever? What, what, what do you think? Well, to be honest with you, Martin, they're all of those things, you know. Um, they're Normally, they're very playful and happy and uh, they're very helpful. But if you do something to annoy them, like, you know, mess up uh, the, the, the countryside with litter or cut down one of their fairy trees, yeah. they can play a trick on you. And they have different tricks that they play. Ooh. One of them is they make donkey's ears grow out of your head. What? Mm -hmm. I've had to have donkey's yeah. ears. Yeah. And the other one is that they grow thorns in your bed at night. Oh, mm. yes. Oh. That's a nasty one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also what they can do is if, you're, if, they, if you annoy them, 
your milk that you have for your breakfast in the morning, they'll make it go sour. So there you go. They plug out the fridge, you mean? They plug out the fridge, you betcha. And all your oh. ice cream will melt. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible. Well, but let's say when the fairies are happy, well, then would they ever help you out? Oh, very much so. Oh. If, 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 yeah, if, if, if the fairies are happy and you're good to them, they'll help you. They will make sure that uh, your family are um, happy and, and everything goes well for you. If you have a farm, they'll make sure all your animals are, are good and strong. And also, they will bring you good luck, you know? Oh. So let's say if, uh, oh, I don't know, if, you, um, if you're playing a football match, and you, you want your team to win, and you, you leave out a treat for the fairy folk and put a good word in them, there's a good chance you might score the winning goal. So oh. there you go. Oh, all right. <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad. But how, about, how about at Halloween? You know, when people are getting a little bit creeped out, you know, things that go bump in the night and all that. You know, and yeah. there's lots of talk of pukas, and there's lots of talk of the banshee and all this kind of stuff. Why is it that this time of year, people start to get a bit kind of creeped out by these kind of things? Well, there's a reason for that, because there's two days in the year that are very important to the fairies. One is the 31st of October, mm -hmm. and the other is the 1st of May. Oh. And on those two dates, the wall, the ethereal wall that separates our world from theirs disappears. Ooh. And there's nothing to stop them from coming into our world. Ooh. So there you go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah. And that's why people put pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns in their windows to scare the fairies away if they tried to come in. So there you go. You've got to take all <laughs> precautions, Steve. Got to take all precautions, you know what I mean? All precautions. And another thing that's very important to protect yourself from the, the good folk or the wee folk is to put your coat on inside out. Put your left shoe on your right foot and turn around three times and you'll be okay. Now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard, that, I, I heard that if, if you put a turn up over your head and say, I love you, Mr. Turn up seven times, then that's a great way of keeping the fairies happy. Is that true? That, I, I, I think that would work as well. If, you could, if I could find a turn up big enough now, I'd, I'd give it a try, certainly. Oh, yeah. If, if, <laughs> I, 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 how many situations in life do you say, if only I had a turn up now? <laughs> so, very true, see, very true. So you're going to be telling stories on the After School Hub podcast. So what can people expect? Well, I'm going to be telling stories um, about the different stories about the fairy folk. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a story about a farmer who cut down a fairy tree and what happened to him. Oh, uh, there's a story I said nothing good happened to him anyway. No, 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 definitely not. No. And his name was Farmer O'Horrible. So there you go. Oh, give like nice fella. <laughs> oh lovely fella. Another story about a wee girl called, uh, called Wee Meg Barney Leg, who was very naughty and wouldn't do anything she was told and went and annoyed the fairy folk and she got <laughs> into trouble with them. And then there's a, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's another story about a boy who was very lazy and because he was so lazy, he got a visit from the Puka horse. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And then another story is all about... Um, I think what the other one is about. Oh, yes, 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 yes. There's a story about a man who was really mean and really grumpy. So the fairies decided to play a trick on him, but I won't tell you what happened. You'll have to listen to the stories to find out. Oh, and his right. name was Atty Jack. So there you go. Okay, yeah. sounds absolutely amazing. So listen, animals are also a bit of a, bit, a, bit a part of all this as well. And you, you've got a bit of a little animal there. Is it, is it somebody called Woody or something like that? Is that a pet you have or something like that? Or what is it? <laughs> well, I have, I have my, wee, my wee stepson Woody is here. And oh. I also, we also have a cat called Furry Man. Okay. Um, yeah. And uh, would, you, would, you, would, you like, would you like to meet them? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd love to say hello. Yeah. Well, I'll call them. Hello. Hello. Oh, they're not. They're 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 in the laboratory. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you see, Woody is my assistant, and his name is Doctor Woody Stein. Doctor Woody Stein. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on. They're doing something in the laboratory. I can hear it. In the laboratory. Oh, oh they're probably, yeah, they're, he's probably in the laboratory. laboratory. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, and he's got furry man. Oh, here he comes. Oh, 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 oh. say hello, Woody Stein, and say, say hello, and there's Furry Man. Furry Man and Dr. Woody Stein. Yeah, say hello, oh. Furry Man. 
Hello. Oh, they look like an absolutely deadly jewel. Oh, what's that cat over there? <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's worse than any polka I've ever seen. <laughs> you got yourself now, a changeling. You got yourself a changeling. Yeah, that's get, right. get over there immediately, Dr. Woodystein. <laughs> so, Dr. Woodystein has got a special experiment. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and he's going to put uh, a, a special. What have you got? You've got a, a drink and you're going to put a, a, a scientific formula. Isn't that right? Yep, I'm going to He's get going it. to get a scientific formula now, Martin. Oh, I hope this is less scary than that cat. I know it does for certain. Okay. Okay. Scientific formula. Oh, no, scientific formula. Here we go. No, no, get that ready. Okay. You, you're you messing around with great powers here, Dr. Woodystein. Okay, here we go. Now, right, Woodystein, you get in front there so they can see you. Oh, oh yeah. see there? That's you there. Looks okay to me. It looks, looks pretty So he's putting it in, stirring it around. We'll use a, here, we'll use this to stir it around. Oh. Give it a good stir there now. Actually, use this one. It's better. Okay, well, why are you doing down after Dr. Buddy's He's time? stirring it now, and if you look at the formula, hold it up to there. Hold it up there. See, that's where you are there. And the people can see it's turning green. Oh. Can you see it's turning green? Looks pretty spooky. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And wait, you see what happens when he drinks this now. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, right, I definitely I think, think you should drink Woody this. Stein. Woody Stein. Okay, Woody Stein. So, are you ready? Take drink your potion. He's drinking the potion, Martin. Ooh, okay. What's gonna happen? Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, what's happening to you? Yeah. What's happening? What's There's happening? something happening, Martin. I don't know what's, what's going on. He's making oh, no. strange noises. What's going oh on? My oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh. Martin, look! He's turned into a war, Martin! Oh, 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 is he oh. going to oh, 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 oh. He's gonna open Are you okay, again. Martin? Are you all right? Oh, he's gone. Oh, He's gone. It's okay. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone back to the laboratory. We have to make another drink to turn him back into Woody Stein. Hopefully oh, we can do that. I, you, know what, you know what I think? I think you should do what the fairies do and plug out the fridge in that laboratory and don't let any more of those portions be cooked up in there. Whew, I was terrified. <laughs> That's a good idea, Martin. I, I think we should do that, yes. <laughs> no, okay, well, listen, thanks a million for coming on here. I had a great time chatting to you and even meeting uh, Dr. Woody Stein and the little fluffy thing. That was even so uh, bad. There's the wee fluffy thing. Ah, get out of here, <laughs> See you later, okay? See you later. Thanks a million. Uh, see you later. Bye.